Hey there diggers, you're uh, here with David and uh, we're on vacation right now up north and uh, we're at this old park that's been supposedly hunted for 30 to 40 years and there's it's hunted out, there's nothing left here. Well, earlier I got a uh, 1902 Indian and uh, just pulled up a 1953 S Weedy not too long ago. And I was just getting a 1314 nickel signal, and uh, I am totally shocked at what I see at the bottom of the hole here. It is my very first shield nickel. And uh, I didn't know if it was a token or what, but uh, it looked like the size of a nickel. And you can definitely see that. That's definitely a shield. So. Uh, I'll have to be very careful in cleaning it up so that I don't damage it. But, uh, all right, we'll get back to you if there's anything else. Hopefully there's some silver in store for us. Get back to you soon, diggers. Bye. Well there diggers, uh, not 10 minutes after my son got his uh, first shield nickel ever, I now have a buffalo nickel. It's like the fourth of the year, isn't it? Uh, fourth or fifth, I'm not exactly sure. I can't tell if there's a date on it or not. Uh, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's uh, two-thirds of the nickel trifecta. Uh, so we'll uh, see if we're going to get the third one to go here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Well, diggers, we're back again to the same park we were at yesterday. This park has some age to it. Um, we've been here before on our vacation and gotten some good uh, finds, including a couple Indian heads, and uh, way back when, when I got uh, that 1852 uh, Canadian bank token, Bank of Montreal, uh, basically like a large cent size. Anyway, uh, yesterday as we were finishing up, we didn't get it on film, but we got uh, a 1920 wheat penny and a 1901 10 ore silver coin. Uh, it's about the size of a half dime. And uh, today, out uh, hunting the same place, we've been at it over an hour, and uh, now my son Dave here has got uh, a handful of clad, but uh, and one wheat, which I'll show you here in a second. And then right there uh, in front of my gloves is where I just got uh, a signal that's uh, 1237. So far in over an hour, all I've gotten before this coin was two zinc pennies, and I thought I was digging another zinc penny. Uh, it was giving me a perfect 1237, set three to four inches deep. It turned out to be a little bit deeper, not much, but a lot of tree roots in this area. Anyway, ended up. Just kind of pop this open, and you can just see there's Underneath all this, there's just a ton of ruts. It's just terrible to dig in, but but it's good sandy soil here where we're at. So uh, well, maybe the tree roots helped hold that thing up instead of going uh, down to a foot. Uh, anyway, I ended up with an 1887 Indian head penny right there, and there is a 1945 D uh, wheat penny that my son got earlier today. Yep. So uh, anyway, hopefully we get some more goodies. Still looking for some more silver, some American silver. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll get back with you if we find anything else. Happy hunting, everybody.
Well there guys, uh, trying to finish up uh, detecting on Sunday, July 14th to finish out the week of vacation. We're here at a uh, private yard that we got permission at and my son just got a 53 quarter, a 53 Washington silver quarter, silver number 10 for him for the year on didn't, the coins. Didn't pinpoint very well so I ended up scratching it right there on the right side of the wing but still happy to have it. Still a silver quarter. Better than a silver dime. Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. Well, guys, uh, I have my first old coin spill. After getting a 1942 Weedy out of the hole and filling her over and stepping on it, <laughs> about ready to go back uh, on on with the show, um, it gave me another signal, 1545 this time. It was originally a 1243 on my CTX 3030, and I reached down in and with my shovel and lifted a little bit of dirt out, and now I see both a silver dime and what appears to be another wheat penny. So I'm going to get these out of the hole and see if we can see what they are. First, oh, oh two it's two wheats back to back. Oh man. How about that? There's the back of one. I don't know if that's going to... Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> so I'll set that up there. And then this weedy. That looks like a 41D on that first wheat. Let's see what that one is. That one's got really good detail because of the... Uh... That's a 58D. Oh, it just barely made it. So, so those two along with the uh, 42 plane, and now is it a rosy silver. or a murk? It's a rosy. I'll we'll stick that pro pointer back down the hole. See if it's got any more friends. Yeah, come on, focus already. See if it'll focus for us here. Lucky 13, right? 13 cents. 61. All right. Let's stick that pro pointer down there and see if there's <laughs> anything else. No, unfortunately not. All right. That was it. But uh, three wheats and a silver rosy in the same hole. That's awesome. Happy to have those. Take care, everybody. All right, we're back home after the uh, week at, following the 4th of July uh, holiday where we had a little vacation. Uh, this is my son's finds. Uh, the top pile there is all the clad. And I think he ended up with $5.54, something like that, of clad. You got a cool 12-gauge um, brass tall um, casing. It says Remington UMC on it. That's pretty cool. Um, you got a number of uh, old pennies, including a 1902 uh, Indian head and a bunch of wheat pennies that he got throughout the, uh, the hunt, throughout the week. You also got this cool um, artillery button uh, with an S on it. Not exactly sure what that means, but that looks like it's brass as well. Um, you got a cool old five cent token. We'll see if that can focus in at all. There. 
It's pretty smooth. Can't tell what it all says other than good for five cents in trade on that side. He got his first shield nickel, 1882, and a 10 centavos coin from 1953. And for the silver coins, he uh, ended up with four silvers for the week. Uh, silver number seven was the 1901 10 ore coin. Then he got a 1960D Roosevelt, a 1960 Canadian quarter, and today, July 14th, a 1953D Washington quarter. He also got uh, a nice little ring here. Looks like a junk ring, but um, maybe it had been silver plated. And he also got a nice naval um, pin. As for me, there's my clad including one lone uh, Canadian penny. I also got a uh, ring, a silver ring, and a silver uh, pennant piece of jewelry, a gold plated cufflink with mother of pearl inlay and it looks like gold. That's pretty cool. I also got an Indian head penny, 1887 and a couple other wheats uh, while we were out of town on vacation and then today ended up with five more wheats and a silver rosy. Those three uh, wheats and the rosy were all in one hole. And the oldest wheat that I got was a 1919. So, 